All right, everybody, welcome back to episode 3.5 of the Let's Build an Airship tutorial series. This is Ingram. I'm one of the Minecrafters, and today we're going to go over a couple things that it's kind of like a halfway in between episode 3 and episode 4, things that have been hindering people in episode 3 that they're going to need to have solved by the time they get to episode 4. First thing we're going to take a look at, actually, is this uh, computer craft code has been updated. You no longer have to type the entire thing, like to go forward. You can type that if you want. How many times? Let's go forward one time. Okay, but now you can also type F um, and just one time. So it's a little bit faster. Um, and you can see how I did that in the computer graph code. If you check it out, it's on Pastebin. And there'll be a link in the description below. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to cover a couple different things that people have had trouble with. And 99% of the time, your frame ship stopped moving because of one of these. Okay, so I got a couple different things here. Um, if you remember, in the entire tutorial series, um, and even when I build privately, we're going to be using different colors to signify... Um, covers versus panels and actually if you look at this particular example you can see the difference yourself um, panels have this little like tiny little let's see if I can zoom in on that actually I don't I don't, I don't really did my zoom key there we go see that right there Woo. that signifies a panel you know that if we zoom in here um, the same thing does not exist for covers okay that's a different way to distinguish them um, these are going to be one of the problems that you're probably you need to remember that covers break off things from the frame network. Okay, so if I were to put, for example, a piece of wire right here, this is this wire is not connected. If we move, watch. If we move, let's say we'll move uh, forward one time, and we try and turn around. Oh, it actually slid. It doesn't didn't break yet. Slid again. That was actually interesting. Pop goes the weasel. Okay, there, it's going to slide. So now if we put this here, remember covers. Do not keep it attached to the frame network. So if we try and go up, we're going to run into a problem. And this is problem number one. You're going to hit, and it actually causes problem number two. So we actually just try to move up. If we slide down to the side here and we look at our motor, we can see that the motor has actually moved up. It initially starts right here. This guy triggers it, and it slides up into place. And when it's up here, this lever over here on this part of the screen uh, sends a signal and tries to send it back down. But when it goes down it, it rips all the frames up so actually the motor this motor doesn't actually move the second time it's uh, moving everything up to be in line with it uh, a little kind of annoying distinction to make but what the problem that causes is this guy was technically in the way so you gotta break that and then you have to remember you gotta come down remember what direction you just tried to go in and if you toggle the switch it resets the whole engine and now you're good now panels remember don't have that problem if we do this and now we go up. We, I just put it on a panel in case you're wondering what in the world I just did. Now we can go up. See, we kind of kind of jigged there a little bit. Um, we did actually go up. If you notice the uh, up in the corner here, whoops, up here. Okay, we we did actually go up. So that solves that problem. Panels are really useful for that. Now, another thing that you're probably going to run into is you need to always make sure that you remember that things have to be touching frames at all points. Okay, and even this over here is dangerous because frames still have to touch other frames you have to remember that so if I were to do for example if I were to do some chicanery like this that block is technically touching frames right at least on one side there's a side right here it's touching and on this side that's fine if I put this block here it's not touching anything it's not touching a frame okay it's not gonna work and if I put that block there and forget that I didn't connect a frame it's not touching either so it's actually gonna have the same problem okay um, and what will happen actually is if we get rid of this guy, so he's no longer in the way. This is another thing you really need to watch out for is, is moving parts. If we move up, up, one time please, whoop, and this guy moved down. Now he's in a different spot. Now if we move up again, he's going to stay there. There we just, we just jigged up a little bit. So now this thing, we just actually moved something in our ship by accident. We didn't mean to. Um, so if you got to make sure everything's connected or your ship parts can kind of move around and get... Now, I'm not going to tell you the problem without giving you a solution. Well, I kind of gave you the solution, but I'm also going to give you a tip on how to avoid Tip number one, use different colors for covers and panels. This is not always doable. For example, if you're trying to mount things to the outside of your ship, uh, if you're working on you know, a cannon design, you want something sticking out of the side, it's not always doable. But when you're doing stuff internally, use I use yellow for here for a cover, red for a panel. Otherwise, you may actually get going, and if we take a yellow panel let's just grab one of those really quick 
it's very difficult sometimes to see when they're side by side. You gotta notice this little guy right here, this little triangle in the corner. If you fail to notice that and you're putting down a whole bunch of stuff and you accidentally put, say like we did, you put a piece of wire on the wrong spot and you're just kind of wiring here, well, these guys aren't attached, they're gonna break. This guy is attached, he's fine, okay? Those symbols that I drew were like horrible, but you know what I mean, okay? So use different colored panels and covers so that you know everything connects the panels, nothing connects. Also don't forget, say you're gonna try and build a window and you're using, these are glass viewers, um, they don't exist in uh, everything, but if, uh, here we go, if you're trying to build a window, Okay, remember, this guy in the middle is a problem. He's not connected and never will be connected to anything. You can put frames all the way around this, and Red Power in Motion is a mod that is available for 1.5.2 that solves this problem. Um, but for those of us who are not playing 1.5.2, and there's quite a number of us, this guy is going to be a problem because he's not connected. And in order to connect him, we have to, we have to attach him to the framework. It's kind of ugly. We're going to try and avoid that as so I told you I was going to give you another solution, kind of give you a, a little bit of a tangent there. Sorry about that. The last thing that I would, I strong, I cannot even strongly enough recommend doing this: build in sections. Do not build a ton of stuff at one time. If you're gonna like reside all, say you're gonna put all this sort of armor plating over here, and you want this thing to look cool, and you're, you're building this whole side, okay? I just put down a ton of blocks. I know that they're all connected, but doesn't matter. Test it anyway. Try and move that direction one time. Okay, we're good. We move the right direction. But there are chances when you're going along and you're humming along and all of a sudden, you know, like, oh, especially when you're doing these, because these are easy to put. See, I just did it right there. The third one in, I already put at the wrong spot. And sometimes you can double up, and now this is going to be in the way. And if you forget, or if you forget that you did cover, so now you're putting blocks here, and these technically don't aren't attached, Okay, if you go and build like your whole ship all at once, you're gonna have to come back and remember what in the deuce you did that broke it. But I just put down um, 11 blocks. Come over here. It's annoying. Whoops. It's annoying. I know. Try and move right one time. Boom. We moved right. We're safe. Okay. These things aren't blocking the way. You really got to do this all the time. I cannot stress this enough. I have take it from my own experience. I built an entire pirate ship with cannons, everything. Built the whole thing. And there was one block out of place, and I couldn't find it. And the whole ship stopped moving, and I couldn't find it. And I spent probably an hour trying to look through the whole ship. And then I ended up having to scrap the whole project and build it again. You got to do not build ahead of yourself. Do not build crazy things. I'd say the, the last and final thing that I'm going to go over in this uh, three and a half thingy is watch when you're doing corners and stuff. It's not really intuitive, okay? But if you're trying to route cable like this, this looks this looks okay, right? Here's a problem. This guy right here is not connected to a frame. This guy, okay, this guy's fine, this guy's fine. On the other side, if we go over there, this guy's fine. Nothing is touching this guy. He will not connect. And we can see that if we were to try to move right again, we're going to leave him behind. Watch this. See ya. And now if we try to move left two times we're gonna be fine ah oh, we can't move again why because this guy's in the way okay that's I mean you really gotta watch out for this stuff that is probably those couple things 99% of the problems you're gonna have hopefully that helps you you really I I stress it again be very careful using panels and covers be very careful going around corners okay because you forget that the corner guy is not attached to anything and be very very careful with how fast you build. If you build too much, you're going to have a problem. Um, but hopefully this helps you with all the troubles that you're having. If it doesn't, you know how to contact us. We are on Facebook.com as TheMinecrafters.com, however that works. We are also at TheMinecrafters.com, the website, the M -I -N -D crafters.com. Um, and we are live streaming on Thursdays. You can jump in the channel. We also have the IRC channel. Go to TheMinecrafters.com slash IRC. It is basically and open web chat. It's like a chat room for the Minecrafters for everything related. There's a ton of people in there all the time. We're always having a blast in there and helping people out. So make sure to check us out. Hopefully that helped. Thanks for watching and stay poised.